God damn, that NIS America logo is pissing me off. Well, anyways, let's go back to the game. And, uh, well, before we talk to Sayaka, let's talk to these other guys. Maybe they have some interesting dialogues. Uh... Hey, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? I, I want to think so, but... What the, what the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. <laughs> oh, God. Oh boy, yeah, he's starting to have doubts, doubt, didn't he? Alright, Kyota. What was in your video, Taka? I saw! Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put into words. Alright. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how can anyone be calm right now? Why? How can something like this even exist? I just don't understand. I, I don't. To be able to do something like that... Is it because they really are the murderous fiend? What was in your video, Hifumi? So Before you go asking someone else, it is only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? <laughs> yes, if I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't get how that works, but hey, guess he's just gonna scare him see what's on my. You know, I could just steal your boxes right now, and there's nothing in there. It was. Okay, whatever. Sakura! Not the Naruto character. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not so upset by what I. S but I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is what. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe that they would lose so easily. How? So, death of Sakura's family. Got it. Alright, so I got information on her. And even so, with the... She's a lot more, um... Willpower to accept the reality, but... It's definitely questioning how it's possible. And I'm pretty sure this bitch is not gonna say shit, is it? Kyoko? What was in your video, Kyoko? Well... Why should I tell you? Um, good point, I guess. Alright, so, Sayaka. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone too far. I should check around the school. Um, oh, hey, the map is here. Just in case, though. Maybe there's some... Okay, so, Aoi is there. Um, he's in the main... Leon's in the main hall. Everyone else is there. Did I talk to anyone? Yeah, I talked to everyone there, okay. What about here? So, okay, she's in the gym. These two are on their own separate ways. They're not gonna tell me where Saika room is. Well, I, I'm presuming she's at Saika's room. But, uh, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Whoa, okay, so this door is open. Maybe that'll give me some hints. Um, Aoi's here somewhere. I want to see what's up with her. Actually, no, there's a gym here, so let's talk to, uh, Ju Junpei? What was her name? Something? I don't know. Junko, right. But more important. Hey, Makoto, aren't you like super curious what's in everyone's videos? I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> right? I can totally tell. But does that mean you're gonna tell me what is in yours? Hmm, hmm who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? <laughs> I don't think she's gonna tell me. Alright, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> but hey, at least we bonded or something, maybe. Alright, so yeah, that door was open, so I'm assuming she's like rushing her way there. Oh, hey, Asahina! Yeah, Asahina! Holy shit, I actually, for I actually remembered her name. Where did Sayaka run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real... Oh boy, okay. Um, where's Leon? I want to talk to him before. I don't think I really care about anyone else. He's in the main hall. In the first floor. Alright. Uh, triangle. Somewhere here, right? Or, wait, is that where his? Well, I'm gonna go here just in case. Okay, so yeah. I thought this door opening mean like she was here or something, but... I'm not gonna tell you, and that's all there is to it. What? I'm not gonna tell you! No way! Hell no! No way in hell! You're just acting all nice, so we'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. Wow. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely scary. Damn it, how the hell did they get footage of that? 
That is a question I want to ask myself, too. So I'm guessing... Okay, she's not here. Oh, shit, there's a big fucking door here. It's locked off, so of course we can't. She's being blocked by a huge slab of metal. Unless we can figure out what the code is. Yeah, let's leave this fucking area. Um, is that all the characters I want to talk to, maybe? First dormitories. Let's, yeah, let's go there. Um, now, where everyone is, that's the question I want to know. I don't think anyone's in the diner, so there's no point in checking that out. Uh, is this a clothes store or something? I could buy new clothes if I want to, but... Or is this just a washing... Oh, it's a laundry, derp. Oh, hey, hello. There's some magazines laying around, probably to kill time while you're waiting in the laundry. <laughs> She's not hiding in the one of the laundry mats, are, is she? Kids, there's nothing more stupid than going to... Is, did you guys remember that Sonic Says episode with the whole laundry thing? Uh, whoa, okay, so... I'm guessing these are, like, people's stuff, so laundry is a thing here? I don't know, do we... Did we actually pack close? Oh, hey, Cel Celestia. Whatever your name is. What was in your video, Celeste? Huh? Oh, it is you. You really want to know, don't you? That smile, it's strangely scary. Okay? There are many, many things in this world you are better off not knowing. Don't you think? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so maybe her video is, like, really fucked up and shit, and... Her telling us might just... Yeah. So, I'll avoid her for now. Alright, Monado boy. What about you? What was in your video, Monado? <coughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. It was fake anyways. It had to be. Whoever's doing all this is just pulling it out of his ass. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Those assholes can't fool me. Alright, whatever. Um, Sayaka. Are you in your room? There's nowhere else you could hide from me. Maybe. Maybe Sayaka's in her room. Sayaka? No answer. I guess I'll just keep looking. Maybe she's not here after all. Alright. So maybe I do have to like look around the area and figure shit out. Danger, keep out. I'd love to see what those leads lead to, but there's no way to get past this gate. What's the point of having these stairs if you're just gonna block them? Girl's bathroom, maybe? Is there any... Well, maybe she's hiding inside. You never know. Or the boys' bathroom, though. I don't know why she would do that. <laughs> really? I could go in? Alright, good. She's not hiding in one of these faucets, is she? Yay! Do I just get random... How exactly do I get coins consistently rather than just complete randomness? I, w I want to know how to get money... Like, is there, like, a job I could apply to, or what? Uh, garbage room? Is she in here? I don't see a reason why she would be in here, but... There's nothing here. There's a door down here. There's a little hatch. It won't budge, it must be locked. <laughs> the more I examine things, the more money I get, it seems like. Over this way? No? Anything over this way? Yeah, let's leave the area. Um, we haven't checked the dining hall yet, so let's try that. I guess this is our first true story-based mission now. Finding Sayaka. She can't, no, the, that's keep out. I'm assuming that the keep out, we cannot even go in to begin with, so... Let's not bother trying to check those areas. Sayaka's not in the dining room. Maybe inside the cook store? Or the cooking wear? Or maybe she's in the fucking store. Or whatever, I don't know. She's hiding inside these... Stuff. Fake looking foods. So many different shit. But hey, at least I get some money, am I right? Uh, what about behind the stove? Can I even search behind there? Doesn't look like I have an option. Okay. It's a deli-style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up inside. Alright, so she's not in the dining room or the kitchen. Um, 
What else have we not placed? Wait, hold on. Have we um went through the gym area? We went through the area before the gym, but not the gym itself, have we? So let's try searching around that area. Uh, where to go from here? Where's the gym again? It wasn't it like somewhere here or something? All of these rooms. Actually, we should probably check these rooms out too, just in case. There's a classroom. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. Nothing. Alright, so, <clears throat> yeah, classroom's here, but uh, are we even assigned any classes yet? Uh, oh, that's totally helpful. Thanks a lot, game. Uh, map. Apparently he's gym somewhere around here-ish, but I don't know. Is this a different classroom, or is this the same classroom as... Oh, the music stopped. Oh, I don't like the music. What does it say? That's the desk I woke up the day I got here. But well, it doesn't matter now. Okay, Saika. Uh, are you okay? I found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, absol staring absolutely at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There's nothing on her face that you can call emotion. It was as if her original mask has been stripped away. S Sayaka, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out! Let me out of here right now! Sayaka, calm down! As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might happen to my family... But now more than ever, I want to s We have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened... People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? That is true. Really think about it. Like, the fact that everyone seems to have, like, the exact same thing... They would fucking investigate the goddamn Hope Academy or some shit. I am curious now, so it is possible that it could be fabricated. So, let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince her myself just as much as her. I keep repeating those words to myself to be clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And might and help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself no matter what it takes. Oh shit. Makoto. Dude, uh, she's gonna kill you. <laughs> when I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Makoto, you, you are so dead. <laughs> Please, help me. I will help you, but I will not be willing to sacrifice myself for your escapade. That's the rule here, okay? Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. You don't have... Uh, it's a good thing you don't have a defense weapon ready, otherwise... I'm fucked. Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she start. She raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Kiken, I believe what you said. No, not really. I honestly got like Makoto. Mm. She's baiting you. I just know it. You are so. Dead fucking meat if you continue this pathway. Maybe she is legitimately who like acting like this, who knows, but I she's probably like my very much like the most suspicious person that I have to out of everyone here well, I guess maybe Celeste too and uh that bitch with the no emotion chick. The mysterious question mark question mark. But seriously, you are starting to like freak me out too, you know that? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes 
Uh, absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. So please, no matter what, no matter what happens, happens, please uh -oh. always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? Of course, uh, Makoto. Please. Well, I, I know I'm trying to calm her down and all that shit, but maybe I'm just lying. <laughs> Maybe I could be lying and doing some sort of reverse psychology so that she thinks that, oh, oh, she, I totally got his attention so that when I backstab him and kill him, then yeah, but no, in actuality, I'm going to backstab you instead. So maybe, just a thought, no matter what, I'll always be your, on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this as long as you're here with me. Cause I'm your assistant. Like you oh my god. Again, what the fucking mm, that smile I come to know so return to her face. I felt a l it felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! Yeah? Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Come Do you even on. have to ask? Yar, flagpole! Get the hell out of here! Just no, no, I want to join in. Damn it, if, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell's up with those videos. Ah, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out, my pristine pure white. Yeah. Stuffing! My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I bought my fist and swing as hard as I could. I never, I had never put so much energy into a single motion for in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Gah! Uh, are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated the school regulations. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! You're too slow. I could have down a thousand full of dollar full coursing dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, despair, despair agonization, it's all lacking. Um, what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, well, um, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. I got my eye on you, though. Despite you being my assistant, the assistant could fucking... I, I've seen the movies. I've seen where the secretaries fucks over the bosses, and the bosses automatically like to get those divorces, and then the fucking secretary goes after them and it kills them. I don't know what the fuck kind of movie I was referencing, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was like some sort of hentai for there or something. I don't know. And Kamunokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood that we just created. Sayaka and I headed back to the dorms. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lie down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I head off and tell everyone... Ooh, excuse me. Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need... Oh well, so I guess... It's now officially nighttime, so my free time of roaming is... Come to a halt. Oh no, it's still daytime. Never mind. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the hell? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others feel all feel the same? Yeah. Definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. That time's about to start. So how come someone's here? I'm not gonna... Get out. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. S Sayaka! Okay. Sayaka, what are you doing so late? Body is trembling. Is everything okay? You 
was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something weird just happened. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all of the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door to open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared, I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if someone like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, you can't go outside during nighttime. But, but that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decides to break that promise, then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? What would make you feel better? Hold on, wait a minute. What about... What does the rule state about, um, the regulations of, uh... Where's the regulation? About sleeping into another dormitory. Students may reside only within the school. Okay. Nighttime from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Not all the areas are limited. Are, uh, off limits. So that's something. But, phone, shut up. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm assuming that the hallway to the doorway is uh, not off limits, so it's possible that people could just go outside with no problems. As long as they're not sleeping, of course. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping as in class. So it's not stating your dormitory, it's stating the dormitory. Meaning you can sleep with other people, it seems like, so... Unless, of course, another rule is to be added, so that is a possibility. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Host Peak at your discretion. Violence against Handmaster, okay. Anyone, okay. Additional school relation, maybe. Okay, so that's the only rule set so far. Now, um, about the door locks, I still have no idea about that specifically. Like, is there a way to un- Well, then again, if we lock the door, then... And he did say that the doors are, like, unbreakable or something like that. You can't lockpick it or whatsoever. So, it's possible that breaking and entering into a dormitory is not possible. But again, Monokuma and his fucking words. Good god. Alright, so, yeah, it's okay for her to sleep into my room. The question is, is she gonna kill me? Because, again, I don't fucking trust her. But, okay, if the game allows me it, then... Makoto, you're a goddamn fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright. Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All, I, all it said is that the school regulation was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, but but um... two people sharing one room is... You know, that's okay. Do we have a couch here? No, we don't. Never mind. Ah. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind. No, I know, me neither. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switching rooms? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But I don't mind you staying in my room. Okay, so, switching rooms. There's really- No, she could steal my toolbox. That's- Yeah. Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? But then again, at the same time, I could steal her knitting kit. I don't know what I could use for a fucking knitting kit, knitting kit but okay. It doesn't, like, concern you? It's fine, I trust you. In that case, then. Oh. <laughs> okay. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and ent- Okay then. Alright. Mm. Man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade our rooms, we gotta trade our keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. 
Well, that, again, that could be just intuition, right? Like I said, Shut up! I don't... F huh? Hey, are you gonna... You're not gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good twist on the thing, but still, it's gonna be fucking annoying every time you sh I got to say that. Okay. Alright. You exchange keys, and I look at... When I look back up at her again... There was another worried expression there. Ricardo, please be careful. If someone comes to door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? <laughs> oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. <laughs> no, 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 you're... Dude, I'd rather her piss her pants than figure out my goddamn secret to the door, okay? God damn it, Makoto! You just gave me your information after information after information! Anyways. You have to turn the doorknob, then lift up the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyways, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I totally forgot, but you still use the toilets or something, right? But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Oh, and about what I said before. <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it was really a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Uh, good night then. See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. Alright. I looked around as soon as I got out of the hall. Everyone else's doors are closed. There's no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure no one was around to spot me, I rushed into Saika's room. Maybe I can investigate what's on her mind. So this is Saika's room. It really doesn't make any difference from mine. It smells nice though. Ah, uh, you perv. If I remember right, all the girls' bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little re reluctant to go in. Alright, what's in the trash can? Maybe there's something I could... It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I can't help taking a quick peek. That's that. There wasn't any doubt about it. It was a DVD with her name on it that we'd find found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. So yeah, probably best not. Like if we really don't want to be suspicious, digging up into her trash and viewing the video for ourselves is definitely a bad idea. But we don't mind bringing up the idea. So okay. What about her knitting kit thing? Ah, ow, my ear, okay. My room came with a toolkit, but Saika had a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be scary. I don't think Saika would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Saika's bed, a pleasant fragrance eloped in me! Saika's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Fucking perv. We'll be right back with the next episode of... Fuck this game. Be right back! No, I don't mean fuck this game. I mean, I don't know what the fuck the title name is. Lego Ninja Go! We'll be right back with Daniel Ninja Go, ladies and gentlemen. State... No, what is it? What is it for real? Dan Ganropa. Okay, see you guys in a bit.